Have you ever wondered how to avoid falling? Okay. Yeah, sure. We are going to talk about falling on today's video. Okay. How not to fall. Okay. Welcome to Talking with Docs. I'm Dr. Paul Zal. So, Dr. Bradley. Okay, so uh, one of my patients was kind enough to share one of his videos of him falling, and he said we can use it to sort of help people identify what are the elements that are associated with a fall. Okay, okay it happens I've, never so quick. I've never seen this video. Okay, there's a few things that you can do. So let's look at those guys. And for privacy reasons, we're not going to mention his name. We're not going to talk about him. And okay. please, Dr. Weening, don't laugh at the fall, okay? okay? And viewers at home, please don't laugh at this person's Leave misfortune. a comment if you've had a fall on things you do to avoid falls. Yeah, falls can Or be. things that your husband does to cause falls. Things, <laughs> I mean, falls can be funny, but we don't want to laugh when someone sure. gets hurt. Okay. Fortunately, this person was not seriously hurt. Okay. But we do appreciate him letting us view this video. Okay, so it was a him, okay. Okay, so here he is approaching. Okay, he's doing some rentals. Got one of the bins there. Yeah. Those are awesome. Well, There's a couple things I noticed in this video. What's that? That looks like your driveway. No, no, and no. no. Guy... It looked like you. No, no, no. This is an acquaintance, someone who lives on the street who had a fall. Let's break it down. It's not important who it is. Okay. Falls can happen to anybody. Okay, okay, so there are a couple key factors there. I saw a bunch of things that were avoidable that could yes. reduce this yes. person's risk of falling. Yes. So the first thing that you notice in the video is a big dumpster in the driveway yep. blocking the normal pathway in. Sure. He could have gone around, though. I think he was in a hurry. He could have, but I had to go through. He Wait. had to go over the grass, okay, and step over a curb. Right. So first thing is the ground. One thing that can cause a fall is the ground. If you're not right. walking on an even surface, you're walking on an uneven surface, a surface that you're not supposed to walk on because another surface is blocked, that can lead to the fall. How many times in clinic do you see someone who is seeing you for a broken bone and they say, oh, the surface was uneven, the concrete was being repaired, there were a bunch of stones on the ground. It's so, or I was in Europe and it was like cobblestone and the road was like this. Right. It's very, very common. So be careful of the landscape that you're walking and on. And it could be ice, it could be gravel, yeah, it could be something. Sure. And this person wasn't even supposed to be walking on the grass, was supposed to go on the driveway, but something was obstructing the driveway, so he had no choice. You talk to this person a lot about their fall. Good friend of mine. He's a very good friend of mine. Okay. Okay. Then the second element of the fall, if you look back again here, this kind soul is carrying two bags, one yeah. in each arm, right? Yeah. What was he carrying? He was carrying, it doesn't matter, I'm not sure, because it wasn't me, it was an acquaintance. But he's carrying too much stuff. It looked like a lot of stuff for okay. sure. If you're carrying a lot of stuff, you're going to be unbalanced. Yeah. And if you're trying to step over something, carrying a lot of stuff, Happens. you might have a fall. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we've got the uneven ground. Okay. Carrying too much. Carrying too much. And the third thing you can't appreciate in this video is his dog was in the window looking at him. So he was looking at his dog. So he was distracted. He was distracted. Right. Okay. So if you're trying to walk, especially on uneven ground, on steps for sure. Maybe look down. Look down. Yeah. Okay, I'm not sure why he didn't, but he was distracted. And the most common thing now that distracts people when they're walking is their phones. Right? They are looking down often at their phones, though, ironically. Yeah, but not at the Look ground. Look down at the ground so that you know kind of the different heights of stuff. And, right. Yeah. And phone on stairs. Yes. Carrying your phone, going up and down stairs, okay. trying to answer a text, trying to multitask with your phone, going up and down stairs. Can I add a fourth? Yeah. Slow down. Yeah. We're all in such a hurry. In your car, when you're walking, all of it. Just slow down. Right? Okay, and then other honorable mentions would be footwear, although yeah. this person was wearing appropriate footwear yeah. at the time, yes. I'm told. Um, footwear can be another cause for the fall. So we've yeah. got uneven ground or not a walking pathway, carrying too much stuff, yeah. uh, distracted while walking. Not the dog. Not the dog. Yeah. I have a picture of the dog in the window too. Interesting. He sent me that. And the fourth, Weird. and the, you know, what kind of footwear you're wearing. Yeah. The important so these are the important things you can control, even though you can't control a fall sometimes. Yeah. The best you try. Yeah. These are things you can control and watch out for to minimize the chance of a fall. Now, well, mm -hmm. go ahead. What you're gonna say is when you do fall. It was I me. Sorry, if it was you, mm -hmm. when you do fall. One of the things that can help reduce your impact of the fall is knowing how to fall, being strong, having muscles and agility to balance yourself or right yourself. Yeah. Um, this person obviously fell to the ground. They couldn't completely right themselves. Well, but... hang on a second. What? This handsome young fellow, if we zoom in on how he fell, please do. He, see how he reaches, his, zoom in. he reaches out his hand yes. to protect his head. His hand goes down, lands right. on a step to protect his head. Now, if he was a surgeon, as an orthopedic surgeon, some might argue, maybe use your head to protect your hand. Yeah, people used to joke about this to stop the elevator. Don't put yeah. your hand up. Orthopedic surgeons put their head yeah. in the... Ha, ha, ha. Very funny. Yeah. But in any case, he used to put out his hand, 
to protect his head. And that's how we see so many wrist fractures is you right. put out your hand, you have both your hands to protect bumping your head. Right. Okay, so that's why I'm this case. So I, I would argue that his reflexes were pretty quick uh, to do that because he didn't get a head, in, a head injury yeah. that we know of. Yeah. Okay. So thanks very much to that kind soul who yep. let us show this video. Right. And so just be careful, follow those tips. And most importantly, if you like this video, please like it, subscribe to our channel, leave a comment about your falls, whether or not you think the person in the video looks familiar. Okay, I gotta come clean. That was me in the video. I we, we all okay. know. We all knew that. Really? Like, yeah, like 10 seconds in, we all knew that. It just happened so fast. Yeah. Luckily, I'm okay. Nothing bad happened. Glad you're okay. But some of those, when I went back and looked at the Nest sure. Cam recording, Nest cam, yes. could identify Google. all those factors that led to the fall rather than just writing it off to me being a And many of them are class. avoidable. Obviously, most falls are often are avoidable. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Remember, you are in charge of your own health. We'll see you next time.